how to join the SAS. The Special Air Service, often simply referred to as the SAS, was formed in 1941 and since then has led the way as one of the world's best and most famous special forces. Its selection process is known and respected worldwide and today we will be looking at what it takes to join the world's best special forces. First of all, to even apply for SAS selection, you need to be between the ages of 18 and 32, serving in the British Armed Forces with over 39 months left to serve, or have been a member of the SAS reserves for over 18 months. The selection for the SAS is split into three stages, endurance, jungle training and escape, and evasion and tactical questioning, and selection takes place twice a year, once in summer and once in winter. Before even beginning selection, potential recruits must pass a basic medical test and pass the battle fitness test, which consists of completing a squatted 1.5 mile run in under 15 minutes, followed by an individual 1.5 mile run in under 10.5 minutes. The next stage is the Special Forces Briefing Course, which includes a detailed briefing of the whole experience, plus a compass and map test, swimming test, first aid test and a combat fitness test. For those who are successful, next up is stage 1, Endurance, which is also known as the Hills Phase, and lasts 4 weeks, during which candidates march cross-country against the clock, with the distances covered each day increasing, culminating in what is known as Endurance. This is a march of 40 miles, or 64 kilometres, with full equipment scaling and descending Penifan in 20 hours. By the end of the hill phase, candidates must be able to run 4 miles in 30 minutes and swim 2 miles in 90 minutes or less. Next up for those successful during stage 1 is the initial continuation training phase. Over 4 weeks, recruits receive training in weapons handling, including foreign weapons, demolition, patrol tactics and other essential battlefield skills. During this phase, every recruit that is not already parachute qualified is trained in this skill. In addition, recruits are trained to the British Army Regimental Standard for signalling. Following the hill phase is the jungle phase that takes place in Belize, Brunei or Malaysia and lasts six weeks. Candidates are taught navigation, patrol formation and movement and jungle survival skills in four-man teams. Following this is the week-long escape and evasion. Candidates are formed into patrols and, carrying nothing more than a tin can filled with survival equipment, are dressed in old Second World War uniforms and told to head for a point by first light, being hunted the whole time. The final selection test is arguably the most gruelling, resistance to interrogation lasting for 36 hours. During this time, directing staff subject them to numerous interrogations, during which candidates must not reveal any significant information. Recruits may only volunteer their name, rank, serial number or date of birth. All other questions must be answered with, I'm sorry, I cannot answer that question. If you manage to pass all of this, then congratulations, you are one of the 10% of candidates who managed to successfully make it into the Special Air Service.